My name is Jill House. I'm Assistant Director of Public Works and Transportation with the City of Arlington, Texas. The City of Arlington has a wide range of capital projects within our program. Uh, the three major departments that are in the capital program are Parks and Recreation, Water Utilities, and Public Works and Transportation. However, just in Public Works and Transportation, we have a Roadway Capital Improvement Program, Stormwater, and our Construction Management, which is our architectural group that builds new buildings or renovates buildings. So with all of those uh, different components, we can have as many as 200 projects, ranging in an average annual budget of $50 million. For the City of Arlington, two of the major departments that were involved in capital project implementation being Public Works, mainly the Roadway um, Program, and Water Utilities, We've been using an old mainframe program from the 1980s because even back then we realized it was very difficult to manage various aspects of capital project management with the tools we had, primarily the financial tool. Most financial tools are set up by account and not project. Um, so we had a mainframe system which was long since uh, it, it needed to be replaced. Um, in city business, funding is normally the main challenge in obtaining a tool or replacing a tool, but the mainframe was literally going to be unplugged. So that was what caused um, management and the city council to be supportive of finding the funding to replace our system with a new, more user-friendly system. The city is using eBuilder. Um, Really using most of the modules, we because we interfaced with our financial system of record, which is Lawson, we focus very heavily on the cost component of eBuilder. Um, the interface has been wonderful. Some of the processes that we're using in eBuilder, again, many of them focus on financial. Um, we have a budget change and a budget transfer where we manage our funding within a particular funding source. Um, then we use the commitment. We call it a, a PO encumbrance because those are some of the terms we use at the city, but where we set up our contracts um, and encumber the funds. We then have a process for contract modifications for change orders or amendments to design contracts um, and then payments. So those are processes that we use daily. The city had a very strong internal team working during implementation, uh, and we worked very well with the eBuilder team. Uh, I can honestly say the whole experience was very positive. Um, certainly we had challenges here and there, but we worked well as a team to step back, look at maybe process changes that we could do that would help with the implementation but it was a very positive experience.